55 million people in the U.S. read the paper on a regular basis. Roughly 12 established trees can create one ton of newsprint. And a ton of newsprint can create about 5,000 typical daily newspapers. This means that the U.S. alone goes through 132,000 trees every day. Worldwide, there are about 151 million people who read the paper daily. And each person goes through an average of three trees per year in newspapers. That's an annual total of 453 million trees, the equivalent of 37.8 million tons of newsprint. Of all the newspapers delivered in the year 2003, only 70% of them were recycled. The other 30% went to landfills. This causes a big problem. When paper rots, it releases methane. Methane is 20 times worse than carbon dioxide. Twelve million tons of newsprint sitting in a landfill releasing methane is a significant contributor to global warming. The National Council for Air and Stream Improvement say that the forest industry was responsible for 53.3 million tons of carbon dioxide given off. This is a 7.2% increase from the 49.7 million tons given off in 1990. Another big problem with the newspapers is the gas used to deliver them all. The New York Times delivered 1,086,798 newspapers Monday through Saturday on average, with another 1,683,855 on Sundays. The New York Times requires the use of 7,426 vehicles every day to get their paper to the public. But that's not where the problem stops. You still need to tally in the number of journalists that travel across countries to do research for their articles. All the energy used from cutting down trees, flying journalists to their destinations, assembling millions of newspapers, and distributing them contributes greatly to global warming. A simple way to reduce the carbon output caused by the newspaper industry would be to cancel your newspaper subscription. Stopping your subscription can reduce your carbon output by up to 580 pounds a year. Or you could just simply recycle your newspapers. Recycling puts out 95% less air pollution than manufacturing paper from scratch. And with today's technology, it's become easier and easier to access news articles from the internet.